It is the 9th of the 1st, 2012, and this is today's climate change update. I'm going to go ahead and start on the extinction protocol tonight. Uh, they've got a story uh, kind of twisted in with Comet Lovejoy about the droughts going on in the world. Uh, the comet in the great drought of 2011-2012, rain disappears from skies from China to South America. Uh, Beijing, they got the story out of Beijing, Ch China's largest freshwater lake has shrunk to its smallest size in years due to droughts, state media and officials said on Thursday. Endangering the, ecological, uh, the ecology in the area and fishermen's livelihoods. And uh, they are asking the question, was Comet Lovejoy an omen in December? I, I don't think so. Texas worst drought on record. Uh, we've been going on about this for quite a while now. Uh, the National Weather Service has officially declared last year as the driest on record for Texas and the second hottest. Meteorologists predict the situation won't improve much this year. Uh, this means water restrictions will continue and we will lose millions of trees. And again, I've, I've read stories of, yeah, 500 million trees, half a billion. Argentina's worst drought in almost a century. Dry weather that's hurting soybean and corn crops in Argentina may cause more damage than 2008-2009 drought that was the worst in 70 years. Uh, a farming group said on said today, disputing a government statement, the current spell of hot dry weather covers more area and started earlier in the season than the previous drought. Um, and again, their drought is ongoing as well. Mexico's worst drought in 70 years, and uh, we've been going on and on about that. Mexico's social development security says an estimated 600,000 households suffered property damage or crop losses due to an unusual combination of floods, drought, and freezing weather in 2011. And they've been having a record-breaking year in Mexico as well. Uh, pretty much all over the world. Um, wildfires, floods, droughts across Latin America, from Chile to Colombia to Mexico, Latin America has been battered by, battered recently by wildfires, floods, and droughts. For many witnessing the extreme weather in the region and around the world, the question comes up again and again is the weather, uh, is, and again is whether climate change is playing a role. Uh, the response from the experts, probably. And the story continues. Drought plagues Israel for the eighth straight year. Uh, Israel is being hit with another official drought for the eighth year in a row, according to the country's water authority. Seven volcanoes in Indonesia on alert status now. This has been ongoing. I believe it went from six to seven. Yeah. And that's about all new they have today. Over to the watchers. Uh, uh, the global scientists are saying 2011 was the ninth warmest year on record in 33 years. In the last 33 years of satellite measurements of temperature readings for almost all regions of Earth, 2011 was the ninth warmest on, year on record according to the latest study by U.S. scientists. Global average for Earth's atmosphere is 0.27 degrees Fahrenheit warmer in 2011 than the 30-year average, despite, despite La Nina Pacific Ocean cooling events at the start and finish of the year. And of course, NASA, never never straight answer, and uh, well goes, we'll take that as it comes. Russian space officials estimated that Phobos Grunt will fall to Earth on January 15th. Uh, this has been going an ongoing theme with uh, the Phobos grunt. Uh, like I put out last night, uh, the French guy, uh, the astronomer, caught Phobos grunt in orbit, and it all looks like it's all in one piece still. So, Russian space officials now estimate the Phobos grunt will fall to Earth on the 15th, though the date could change due to external factors. The probe will re-enter somewhere between 51 degrees north and 51 degrees south latitude, uh, the exact location won't be known until the time of re-entry is pinpointed. And, uh, yeah, who knows. Uh, the cargo ship Rena broke in two, causing a new oil spill. Uh, this is off the coast of New Zealand. Rough sea and waves 
as a as as high as seven meters. Uh, that's 23 feet, caused a cargo ship Rena to break into two on Saturday off the coast of New Zealand. Uh, this allowed more oil to leak, and now there is a yawning 20 to 30 meter gap between the ship's bow and stern section. I've seen a video on this, it's uh, pretty extreme. Recent solar activity, Sunspot 1393, is growing rapidly, more than tripling in area since Friday. So, so far, however, the active region has not produced any strong flares. Solar activity remains low, solar activity increased somewhat, and a solar flare detected around Sunspot 1386 off the western limb early Sunday morning. Um, yeah, yeah. And uh, that's about all new they have on tonight. Uh, over to the Ice Age now. Uh, winter wallops Asia and Europe. That's where all the cold weather has gone. Indi Indians in the Kashmir Valley cut off freezing as winter grips part of Europe, parts of Europe and South Asia. And uh, they've got the seven Indonesian volcanoes on alert. Austria hit by unusually heavy snow. Around 15,000 tourists and locals snowed in on Arlberg Mountain Ski Resort in Austria. And that is about all new they have tonight. Over to the RSOE. Of course, we still have the flooding going on in Brazil. Um, snowstorm in Alaska and Cordova. We got extreme weather in Australia. Now, they've been having these Midwestern-style supercells roll through lots of lightning, high winds, uh, that kind of thing. Apparently, a, um, a, a lightning strike struck a gas release from a chem chemical company, and they caught a picture of this uh, gas out, out gassing. Um, kind of freaky picture. I think I'm going to go ahead and put that on my channel tonight so everybody can kind of take a look at that. Uh, just the crazy things that go on as far as... Uh, chemical companies and, and gas flare-ups due to lightning strikes. Uh, where did I go? A snowstorm in Bulgaria. Here's the European snow front rolling through. Serbia again. Um, got the jellyfish alert in uh, Southland Beach, New Zealand. Some more snowstorms in uh, Alaska, Nome. Snowstorm in Austria. Um, and a forest fire in the state of Kentucky, Floyd County. Now, apparently witnesses observed a large explosion. So apparently there was a, a, there was a forest fire on the other side of this mountain. And a gas line was running through the woods. Uh, the, forest fluff, the forest fire lit the pipe up and it exploded. And the gas company had to shut it off. And they're waiting for... Um, the fire to die down to go make repairs. They say uh, the damage was limited, blah, blah, blah. Uh, tornado reports out of India in the Kindrapada district. Some severe weather there. And of course, all the volcanoes that I've been going on and on about the one in Chile. Uh, anyway, over to the nuclear stuff, uh, e, e News. Acro survey homes are significantly contaminated in Tokyo suburb. First time child from capital had radiation detected in urine, and you got to remember they're not in they're not testing internal doses. Uh, two two U.S. nuclear plants had quakes exceeding operating basis while in process of getting licensed, and um, yeah, and this is the same one that that. We had problems with uh, just with this last Virginia quake where it exceeded its limits. So it just goes to show that they don't really care. They're just building these damn things anywhere they want. Japan Times, TEPCO management called war criminals by Japan Weekly. Uh, yeah, that's an understatement. NHK, Japan announces free medical care for Fukushima children under 18. This is requested by the local government. Uh, I'm going to say good luck with that. Remember, uh, Fukushima is now this huge 
Um, everybody's a big nuclear guinea pig now. Um, they're doing all kinds of medical studies uh, to the Japanese people and uh, the results of uh, what's going on. Report, spent fuel pool number four, boiled after a New Year's quake, says plant worker. Um, this plant worker said she witnessed a pipeline burst. The tank went dry and it, it was boiling over. And, um, and then yesterday we had reports coming out, uh, huge mysterious spike in cesium fallout after a New Year's quake. Um, so we can tie kind of piece piece and piece together and uh, do the math a little bit. Something extreme happened um, right after this last quake in Fukushima. And uh, if I do recall right, didn't they uh, shut down all the cameras and stuff right after this earthquake? So, uh, more insanity. It continues. Of course, if I missed anything, please uh, attach your comments or your videos below. Enjoy while you can, everybody. Thanks for all your help.